Hi, I'm Adrian, a cybersecurity SE with Full Proxy here in the UK. As part of a series focusing on web application security and the OWASP Top 10, this short bite-sized video covers off risk number seven, cross-site scripting, or in this modern world of TLA's XSS. So what is XSS? In short, it's perhaps best defined as the ability to run your script on someone else's website with the aim of completing nefarious activity. As usual, our mutual friend Jane is on hand to help me try and articulate this in a little more detail. Oblivious to the scripting code and mechanics of what makes up a web application that ultimately delivers Jane the content she regularly requests, Jane points her browser to the website and downloads this content. An article of interest allows users to post their views of what they've read or watched, and keen to find out more, Jane clicks on the latest comment to see what others have to say. Unbeknown to her, Mr. Hacker has posted a short script in the comments page which automatically runs as soon as Jane views it. This in turn installs a keylogger on her PC through which Mr. Hacker can start stealing credentials or other valuable data whenever Jane now types it in. Donald, let's see how we can help Jane out here. Okay, thanks Adrian. Here's Mr. Hacker's cross-site script, which hooks the user's browser, allowing the hacker to ultimately steal data. The guestbook will store this malicious code and execute it every time this page is hit. Now let's get a user logged in and add a message to the guestbook. This will allow us to see the script in action. Let's have a look at the hacker's hook server. As you can see, the victim's browser has been hooked. We can immediately see the victim's OS, browser, type and session cookies. We can also execute remote commands. I'm going to grab the victim's geolocation and redirect the browser to another malicious website. As you can see, we have a user in the Edinburgh area using Sky Broadband with a public IP starting 151. Now let's redirect this user to our hacker website. Let's jump back over to the victim's browser and see this redirect in action. And there it is. Things aren't looking good for this user. Now let's see how the hacker gets on when F5's WAF is protecting this application. As before, the hacker script will run as soon as the guestbook page is opened. Let's check the F5 and see what's happening. We have an entry in the application request logs telling us that the malicious cross-site script has been blocked. Awesome stuff, thanks Donald. That's it for this particular OWASP Top 10 Bite Size video. Please like, subscribe and comment. And if you need any more details on web application security, please email us at the address below, which is info at fullproxy.com.